them bad bottles over there. You know, if it ain't 1942, no rules, no assume, I don't know, nigga, it's the count, nigga. Hattie, 2020 shit is fucked up, but we still smoking, nigga. Uh, uh, Jury on me saying fuck you, it's rocks, bitch. 40K, my Instagram deleted, I'm back, bitch. I know these niggas scheming, so the grip on my lap, bitch. Plus my pop features got me sticking to actress. I cruise with the raw in the trunk. And the only fives we shoot is the ones with the four in the front. It's Poppy Chulo from the Bronx, get my name right. You niggas get questioned by police and get stage right. I only fuck a bitch if she pretty and her brain right. I'm known for running game on bougie women and fucking them the same night. You niggas tattle telling this shit on a stand pointing fingers like you're giving out directions and shit. And my error, if you ain't living, you couldn't rap about it. Matter rappers. Come home from snitching and then they chat about it Click it with the goofies online and they all laugh about it Can't wait till you catch a headshot So we can all laugh about it Rainbow head nigga got jokes Rest in peace and Nipsey Hustle from the West Triple X and Pop Smoke Tell the cops I got some shit I wanna unload off my chest Y'all gotta smoke me, I ain't letting a nigga choke me to death I'm in the hood where this nigga shedding blood every day Niggas scamming and this nigga selling drugs every day It's a problem, niggas talk, but it's a snob on the waist I'm with the haters, the workers and the blogs every day How you want it? Aim high, hit a nigga with a headshot Get a rush when I see a dead eye Free all my niggas at the fast guy This drama, we can meet and have a shootout on the low I ain't Tory Lanez, nigga, I ain't shooting at your toe My man Red did 10 in the feds and kept his mouth shut The man did a week on the island and gave the house up. My down south niggas bring guns and keep the street strapped Some of my niggas go to Cali and send the peas back My lawyer said your name came up, I can't believe that Like how you went into the precinct and sent the D's back And town got a call for 10 cents And I'm still with the same niggas I've been with And Z don't want the work if it's 10 Rest in peace to Uncle Paulie and Scorer, we gon' pray for the land You know 2020 hard and suck, that's why I be mighty though Show me love where it's at Like a big boss nigga who talk about money on his show where it's at Ain't no cap Got a pocket full of ones If you show me what that tongue do Baby show me love where it's at I want that love like that groupie love Was it fucking with you then and you still a dub I got that big foot long extended clip For the bitches that's throwing subs They up at the top letting show the shrugs That's why I give bitches daps never giving hugs Cause bitches got bad spirits and they feelings I'ma let it fly like a ladybug Bitch I am a thug Yelling thug life Get hit with the left Give a fuck if he was right Popping on a bitch like a Bud Light Eating up this pussy like a motherfucking Turn my titty, fuck me all night. Cushy, I'm throwing it back in a rookie. When we kids, we used to play hooky. Skip a school for that dick drop and it low like I'm hitting the stucky. Big, big boss nigga who don't talk about money on these show where it's at. Ain't no cap. Got a pocket full of ones. If you show me what that tongue do, baby, show me love where it's at. Like a big boss nigga who don't talk about money on these show where it's at. Ain't no cap. Got a pocket full of ones. If you show me what that tongue do, baby, show me love where it's at. Aquí metemos cabra en tu aparte, no hay que darte luz. Uh. Piquete bacano, bujía y más rabia que tú. Uh. No te cruce o te apagó la luz. Por más que tú tratas de gustar, no luce. Tú eres duro, sí, pero no en estos predios. Tú eres duro, sí, pero no en estos predios. Tú eres duro, sí, pero no en estos predios. Baja esa corneta que tú no eres del medio. 
Tú eres duro, sí, pero no en estos predios. Baja esa corneta, que tú no eres del medio. Cotorra que en graniza, le pase muy deprisa. Nadie quiere pecharse, temen a la paliza. Tu vente el clan, el equipo ganador. Tú suena más que yo porque tú eres un mamador. Lo minero fogón, pregúntaselo a la tabla. Campeo en todos los bloques y nadie me mete cabra. Doy duro en la bocina como manazo al pecho. Estos locos están rapeando de lo que nunca han hecho. Háganme reverencia, saludo militar. Los versos que yo martillo te rompe la cervical. Gran figura, cotorra dura, cambien de vía. Tú duro por tu casa, pero no por la mía. Gran figura, cotorra dura, cambien de vía. Tú duro por tu casa, pero no por la mía. Tú eres duro, sí. Bien, if you say so. Tú eres la vaina. Ok, if you say so. Tú metes mano. Ok, if you say so. Cuando llegan los tigers, los gatos hacen silencio. Tú eres duro, sí. Bien, if you say so. Tú eres la vaina. Ok, if you say so. Tú metes mano. Ok, if you say so. Cuando llegan los tigers, los gatos hacen silencio. We already know your style and nobody want rap with you. We in the same parties, nobody want mess with you. We chatting and capping, etc., etc. Everybody sick till it's time to get a temperature. Never will I starve. I'ma get it how I get it. Point me to the treasure. I'ma dig it. I'ma dig it. Nigga want the drama. He can bring it if he with it. I'ma hit him with the chopper like thick it, thick it, thick it. For the grind, they said I need to stop. I'ma always put it work 'cause I never see the clock. Nigga, you ain't tough, you'll never see the ops. Might as well call you square 'cause you never leave the block. Tú lo puedes, mi tigre dominan. We been going hard since we was rocking filas. Wanna be like us, nigga, párate la fila. Do it for the Bronx, Villa Duarte, lo mina. Tú eres duro, sí. Está bien, if you say so. Tú eres la vaina. Ok, if you say so. Tú mete mano. Ok, if you say so. Cuando llegan los tigres, los gatos hacen silencio. Tú eres duro, sí. Está bien, if you say so. Tú eres la vaina. Ok, if you say so. Tú mete mano. Ok, if you say so. Cuando llegan los tigres, los gatos hacen silencio. Tabla, el presidente de los tigres, Jairito. Nano Brasi, Money Mike, El Chu, que lo que gran figura do entre el clan. TDA Music. La zona franca. Let's go. All caught up in a daydream, away from reality. Yeah. Uh -huh. My destiny is calling my name. No place that I'd rather be than trapped in this rhapsody. Yeah, uh -huh. uncertainty inside of my brain. One day I'ma quit this day job. job, job, job. Fuck, em, fuck em. And I'ma get my day dream. dream. Yeah. yeah. And I'ma get my turn. turn, turn, turn. Yeah. It's my turn. And I ain't worried about how it may seem. No. Cause I'ma get my daydream. I'm going fishing, wait a minute, look, I'm never home. Stay focused, never joking, not a smile at all. You see the sky from a distance, I'm amazed to see. The colors in the sky, I call it sonic blue. About to quit my day job, unemployment proof. My impression at the door, thought I seen Snoop. Wipe my eyes, hypnotized, now I'm in church. See my mother at the altar, daddy preaching worth. Too afraid to call it simple, now my mental's worse. I would rather be a rapper with the golden sound. Nowadays, you the rapper with the 90 sound. So addicted to the money, thought I mumbled wow. Daydreams of the city, but the city screwed. Hip hop turned to candy, lots of mini U's. Been years since I ever, ever took the train. Now I'm back for the crown, really taking aim. Oh, caught up in a daydream, away from reality. Yeah. My destiny is calling my name. I'ma quit this day job, job, job and tell yeah. them, fuck them. And I'ma get my day dream, dream, dreams, dreams, dreams. And I'ma get my turn, 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 Cause it's my turn. And I ain't worried about how it may seem. Let the music play. Best of wishes on the mission, see me floating air. Everybody got a problem, look, the smell is false. Nightmares turn to dreams, look, no sleep at all. All my homies want the bag, shit, I want it all. Dropping hit after hit until my soul is gone. Here's a message for the world, I believe in me. Look, it started from the bottom, now it's history. All praises to the sky, look, my legacy was determined by my father, preacher, save his soul. I was stuck watching Tommy kill Manolo off. Daydreams of a scheme to defeat them all. I'm just waiting in the wings till my numbers call. Sounds good when I'm hated and you made it through. Snap my fingers like I'm Thanos, peep the ocean view. Like a beach chair and sand, look, enjoy the view. In game, in play when the fight is true. Oh, caught up in a daydream, yeah. away from reality. Yeah. 
My destiny is calling yeah. my name it is. There's no place that I'd rather be uh-huh. Than trapped in this rhapsody yeah. Jones, ladies, Uncertainty no inside of my brain One day I'm a quickest day job, job, job. Fuck em, fuck em. And I'ma get my day dream, dream, dreams, dreams, dreams. And I'ma get my turn, turn, turn. Cause it's my turn. And I ain't worried about how it may seem. Cause I'ma get my day dream. Yeah. Notes 82. Sage on the boards. <laughs> Tone Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have witnessed. What's about to take place is Cause I'ma get my day dream Ready! Can I get a yer? Yer? Tough. Yer! <laughs> Yo, what up? What's good? How we doing? How we feeling? Welcome to the artistry where we talk shit about music, entertainment, and the everyday life is your girl V Henny. You already know the vibes. We got King Jade in the building. She was the one who was with the whole yeah. fake year. You can tell she's from Queens the way she said year. <laughs> Sure. 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 Cause you know, like motherfuckers from the Bronx, where we're from, we'd be like, "Yeah, <laughs> like you understand? Like that should become that should be like cuckoo." <laughs> you know when you be like, "Hey, yo, hey." No. <laughs> That's some real New York shit. Y'all already know the vibes, man. How you doing? How you feeling, Miss Jade? I'm feeling good. It was a productive day today. What about you? It's been good. It's been, I feel like it's been forever. It has been. Yeah, it's been quite some time. Uh, but other than that, I've been very productive. A lot of things has been happening, flourishing. Um, so I'm super proud of that, you know. Um, productive, I know you did a live. I was kind of part of that live. Yeah, she um, I was with my over. Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> cowboy, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were, we were on live and we were having good conversation. She had a cowboy hat on, you know, good yeah, vibes. Good vibes, you already know. Higher vibrations, bang, bang, bang. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> now everything's been good. Yo, we only have a week left of October. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, October came and went. It definitely did. I'll, October didn't even put the Vaseline like did you finish nutting October like are you ever gonna nut like are you are you pulling up like I feel like he October just put the tip in and that's it that's really how I feel right now with October <laughs> but I I'm like yo literally I mean that's my favorite holiday Halloween you know um shit is so different though obviously do the um motherfucking the Rona mm-hmm. um so I'm assuming there's no parade this year. Mm, I'm pretty sure people are going to go on their own endeavor. No, nah, I'm sure, too, people are going to do their own thing as well. You know, there's a lot of parties, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but as I far as, like, lot. yeah, there's a lot. But I'm talking about parade. No, like, no, parade. I like, that was always something I did every year. Like, I would hit West 4th and just my gay ass would be like, Woo! Party! <laughs> now I'm just like... Trick or treat, <laughs> you understand? Like, I mean, you know, I look forward to whatever parties there will be out there, or uh, you know, or bar hopping. You know, since things are slowly opening up, you know. So, but damn, literally, like one week left. I was just thinking about it. Like, yo, that's insane. Next Sunday. Will be the first, correct? I believe so. Shit. That's crazy. You know what I've been doing lately? I don't know about you guys. Like, here and there, not much of a show person or I'm not much of a TV person. But when I do watch, um, I've been, I have I was actually put on by Ms. J right here to the show. It's called The Good Place. All right? So, 
Do you think you'll be a, you 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 know? Do you think you'll make it to the good place? I feel like I'll go to the middle place. You no. go to the middle place. I, I so then, if you're fucking making to the middle place, <laughs> I'm going to the fucking bad place. Then because I don't know how many points like I gotta make. You know, do I have to do charities to get to heaven, or is it just like I don't according know. to the good place rules, not you know reality. According to the good place, I don't know how good how much good I have to do. Yo, I feel like my life right now is like season three. Where I have to help others. You're <laughs> I have to help others get to the good place at this point because I'm already screwed. You understand? Like, I feel like I've done so many fucked up shit in my life. Even from like recent, like for me throwing up on people, drunk. You understand? Like, <laughs> don't judge me, guys. I'm 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 human. Like, I'm allowed to do stupid shit like that. I mean, it's not about you not being allowed. Because uh-huh. we're human. We're, mm-hmm. we're literally made to make mistakes. Exactly. The issue is when you know you do wrong and you do it anyway. <sighs> well, technically, because of the alcohol I was consuming at that time, <laughs> I didn't know how drunk I was. Eventually, because we had like a, a kind of insane driver, my stomach was all fucked up. So I really had no clue and idea that I was going to react the way I reacted. Mm -hmm. So, it's not my fault I threw up on Shorty. But you did over drink. Which would be negative points. Again, right? If you watch The Good Place, in order to get to The Good Place, (laughs) (laughs) you need positive points. (laughs) And then, like, according to your actions, they negate. That's what it says. So once you get to season three, you're going to understand what I mean by the (laughs) fact that my life, that's where I'm at right now. Where I'm at this place where I am damned. (laughs) It doesn't matter what we do. (laughs) I'm just going to help others get to The Good Place. You understand? Like, that's how I feel. But that's a good show. I've been... um, Definitely been watching that. I'm just like, yo, I can't believe I haven't even, like, I didn't even know about this. Um, Good show. Um, What else have we been? I'm actually letting you guys know as well. Um, I am going next month to, I'm going to VA, uh, DC and Philly. Um, We are planning on doing some work out there as well. Um, Interviews, uh, photo shoots. Just the work, same shit we did out in Atlanta. Atlanta was definitely a vibe. Um, so we're planning on doing it again out in VA now in DC and V um and Philly. So we're looking. I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's uh, it's crazy because I was just mentioning on my Instagram. I I had posted something about like never qu- now you know don't quit basically, you know um. Because it made me realize I was writing on my calendar. And I was just like, yo. When I was writing, like, for the month of November and December, I was like, fuck. I'm not complaining, but I'm traveling a lot. And and it's a beautiful thing. I never thought I would get here. You understand? And I, I'm not saying it to brag, I'm saying that if I can do it, you can do it, you know, that's my mentality, I grew up on that, you know, where I'm like, you know, if 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 this person can do it, you can definitely do it, you understand, if this person came from nothing, you can, you know, you as, they, they came from nothing, can definitely become something, you know, we, we're, we all have a purpose, just don't fuck up on your relationships, build relationships, don't fuck up relationships, you fuck a relationship that gets you nowhere. Just letting you know. Because there's certain people I don't fuck with for a reason. You understand? They fuck up relationships. Um, and and in this business, like, literally words get around quickly. A lot People don't realize how, literally, how small this industry is. It's It, it, it may seem like a big world, but it's really... It's really, it's not that big. Like, and when I'm talking about, I'm talking about the music industry, the, the entertainment industry, it's it's not that big. A lot of people know a lot, you know, like it's, it's, it's so many things is word of mouth. And 
the last thing you want to do is fuck up your relationships with those who are really good with you, good to you, and, you know, some people have the attitude, well, like, I'll burn bridges. I'm like, all right, that's cool. But if you burn bridges in a negative aspect, like, like really, like, burning bridges where you can't recover, don't get upset when you don't get to where you want to get to, you know? Yes, you can... I feel like you can't overcome from being blackball, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Don't do a Tory Lanez and do a live and assume right automatically that that's how it works. No, that's not how it works. It's not. You can't convince the public <laughs> you're innocent. <laughs> the motherfucker's only doing a live is because he's trying to gain that public... Um, what is it? Not pity, but sympathy. sympathy. The public, their sympathy. Because he needs money. Homeboy needs money. He needs those sales. And what better way to do it? He's not gonna stay he's not gonna stay quiet. See what the smart thing he would have done is if he is truly innocent, he would have just stood quiet and let the courts and everything play out the way it should be played out. And if you're innocent, your shit would have skyrocket. However, you're 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 taking advantage of this situation. You're making it worse. And it's it's not benefiting you, Tori. It's not benefiting you, my guy. Like, what's wrong with you? So what did he say specifically? Because I've seen this live going around, but I haven't clicked on it just yet because everybody was just basically clowning him so now nah, he's just saying like he's basically saying how meg is his friend and he does you know you may think i'm not your friend but i am your friend you know i don't want to cause harm but however <laughs> like basically however tell the truth sis i didn't do that you know i didn't like he's just telling his story my thing is like you're giving details right and you are going to, you know, you have this whole case. And you're still getting detailed. Like, you're, you're still talking. You I talked like- on your whole album. That whole album you talked. Not gonna lie. Again, the, the album was I. But I didn't finish the our whole album because I only heard... I, I, and I said it last time on the show. I only heard like what four tracks, because I was just like, for what? Yeah. If you're innocent, you're innocent, right? So then let it. If you, I'm sure, if you innocent, then things will work on your way. I think he's nervous because obviously Rock Nations have those lawyers, and they don't fucking play. And then at that, you mentioned Rock Nation. On the motherfucking live, he mentions Rock Nation. Like, he mentions how, like, they told him not to drop a statement, but then all of a sudden, this was, this happened. And I'm like, but bro, you didn't do a statement, but your people's, your, your PR was still talking. Because there was still talks behind the scenes on certain things. I feel like... Go ahead. What do you feel like? Tory Lanez is a very emotional man. So he does things based off emotions, right? That's, and usually that's like 95% really of short, short men like his height are usually like that. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like... Because he's, like, he's like my height, right? So I feel <laughs> like... <laughs> All his music was based off emotion, so it's not really a surprise to me to see him go off the way he is. Mm-hmm. But playing devil's advocate, if okay. he is innocent mm-hmm. in the case, let's mm-hmm. say in a parallel universe, okay, okay. he's innocent. And uh-huh. the story of Megan shooting her own foot and blaming Tori because she was so lit, let's say that that was the truth. Okay. Wouldn't it drive you crazy that your career was plummeting and you didn't do something that half the world is pinning you and, and accusing you. Like, wouldn't you as I well? mean, it would drive me insane, but because I've been in certain situations with my name, <laughs> listen, I could throw people right now under the <laughs> fucking bus where they put my name in certain bullshit. And I was like, word? I was like, I know my truth. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I learned to, if you know your truth, you know your truth. So for a situation like that, that this court involved, yeah, 
see when there's court involved that's when i'm just like i'm 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 gonna let my my money at this point get the proper lawyers you understand because like like you know like how they're saying that how he did this whole album was a pu- publicity stunt right mm-hmm. so it's like i would have grabbed the whole best motherfucking lawyers right Cause I'm innocent, so I'm. It's driving me insane that y'all motherfuckers is bad mouthing me. Y'all really trying to blackball me at that. You understand? So if that's the case, I'm getting the right, the right lawyers. You understand? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting what's his name? Um, Kodak Black, um, Kodak Black lawyer. Like, <laughs> like what's good? You taking me out of this? Like, I'm gonna get the best lawyers in this industry to prove you wrong, and that's when I'm dropping. Once I proved you wrong, and I, I proven my innocence, that's when I'm dropping my album, and that's when I'm releasing statements. You understand? And that's when the money comes in. He's doing everything as backwards. You understand? You're doing Doing everything ba- as backwards where people are looking at you is like, yo, bro, you, yo, brody, you looking mad corny right now. You I real, mean, you, yo, Tori, you looking like a real bitch right now. Like, I feel like Tori, I mean, that aside, I feel like Tori's known for He this. is known to be a, for, I want to know what the, the fuck drama. Meg was looking into. Like, why, what, what was it? He, I, I hope he got a big dick. I really hope he, the, the guy has a big dick. <laughs> Because I be like, really, Meg? Like, really? You got with this little dick motherfucker? Like, really? That he's here talking? I feel like he's talking like... I got. All I will say is I would never rob a bank around that guy. Yeah. Because God forbid, you never know. He's a talker. He's a talker. Paul, um, Tory Lanez is a definition of a pillow talker. Yeah. That's Tory Lanez right there. You understand? Like, I feel like... What you're doing, you have to play. Co- I, I, like I'm, I'm not even trying to. Like let, let, let's get serious right now. Like honestly, Tori, like play your cards right. You're doing everything as backwards. I don't even know how your PR is allowing this. I was gonna say that. I don't understand how your PR is not. They're not allowing. That I mean, they're allowing this. Like they're, they're not. I would have been. Took that fucking live off. Like what the fuck is what? What are you doing? I, I, you know, like I, I, I would question my own team. Like at that point, like what the fuck you doing, making me do lives like this? Like you supposed to not let me do? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, if you're innocent, you're innocent. Get the proper lawyers and prove your innocence. Stop trying to convince the public that you're innocent. You know, it's it's already a he say she says. Three sides to the story. His, hers, and the truth. That's it. Point blank. Stop trying to convince the public. I understand if you need money, I get that. But if you would have stood shut, played your cards right, and proven your innocence, the money would have came. You understand? Because people would have looked at you like, oh, shit. But you're still talking. That's what's making you look like a bitch. That's it. Point blank. <laughs> shout out to a motherfucking... Yo, people are going to kill me right now for this, but shout out to 50 Cent. <laughs> People be like, people be like, shout out to Fifty Cent. What you mean, V? That shit was funny. He got the, I, yo, I don't get. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Shout out to Fifty. Shout out to Fifty for having the balls. We already know he's a troll king of, uh, in the on the internet. But shout out to Fifty not for Fifty Cent for not giving a fuck what people got to think about him. He don't give a fuck what you think about him about what political views, you know. Um, <laughs> he's voting for Trump uh, um, <laughs> due to the whole Biden tax. Um, can, go quick, ahead. Can I go just ahead. interrupt? Are you, do you? I'm like, yo, do you see the marketing that Biden is doing? Like, it's. I know people are going to get very upset with go this ahead. statement, but it's pathetic, to be honest with you. <laughs> It's fucking pathetic. He has videos of people crying and he's hugging them. He has a video where he's like taking off his little American flag pin and giving it to a little boy and saying, you know, whatever he got. Of course, he's giving it to little boys. Bro. (laughs) 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 It's like it's pathetic. This guy has dementia. 
he does have dementia and and you know um listen you know everybody's entitled to their political Not views you know i'm voting for trump by the way i'm just i'm just pointing <laughs> i out. just think they're both fucking hilarious yeah i'm just pointing out the they're flaws, fucking but... they're, at the end of the day you understand um it doesn't matter who is president thank you when it's a come to politics um politics politics again you know everybody you know everybody has their own political views everybody you vote for who you want to vote for you know definitely if you want to vote vote you know like i'm not taking that away from people you know you are entitled to vote and you are entitled to choose who you want to become president that's the whole purpose of free will you understand you having the rights to feel who's who's right for the pre- presidential can as a presidential candidate, you know. So, but at the end of the day, um, don't get brainwashed either. Either like I feel like I want to know what's going on behind the scenes now that they have this whole debate and what well, debate the the voting the baby. and all just just in general for the past month two months like i want to know what's going on behind the scenes while everybody's distracted that's what i want to know yo behind the scenes i want to know what's the real fucking shit that's happening did you hear what's happening in nigeria yeah, that's sad. Yeah, that's um and SARS, you know, that mm-hmm. it's it's insane what's going on in Nigeria. Um Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy what's going on. There's a lot of things going on that it's insane. Like I'm just like the world, I mean twenty twenty, right? They saying that what what they say that twenty twenty is the actual um what twenty twelve was supposed to happen? Yes, yes. That it's actually twenty twenty. Yes. That they messed up the calculations when it comes to the Mayan calendar. Yes. I don't know. Just I feel like just in life right now, just I what I can tell people is just I feel like yo, just live life. So nah, but yeah, I already know, man. Like today's gonna be a dope episode, man. We got Warren Wint. He's gonna be rocking out with me. Yo, this man, I fuck with Warren. I love his energy. I love his his vibes performing as well. And y'all already know how that goes. That's in the second part of the show, which we're about to dive into shortly. Because why? We're about to play some music videos. So y'all already know the vibes, motherfuckers. Subscribe, like, comment, and show that love, bro. I'm so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to do this shit organically, guys. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> I do the man. Please, please. I'm saying please, yo. This, the fucking mic just hit me on my chin. That's how real that shit is. Help me. Help me help you. <laughs> you already know the vibes. We're going to come back, all right? So rub your blah, 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 blah OTM 600, bitch, they know that we on top And blow your glock, 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 glock I don't wanna up on you, smoke you, now they wanna up on you So rub your blah, 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 blah OTM 600, bitch, they know that we on top And blow your glock, 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 glock I don't wanna up on you, smoke you, now they wanna up on you We guns, we marching in this bitch, better have your heat on you Neighbor call a people on you Don't get shot, blah, 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 OTF 
ZM600, bitch, they know that we on top And blow your glock, 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 glock I wanna up on you, smoke you, now they wanna up on you So rub your blah, 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 blah ZM600, bitch, they know that we on top And blow your glock, 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 glock I wanna up on you, smoke you, now they wanna up on you We guns, we miles with them niggas, know I heat them Run up on them, get them gone, and I heard they sent them home Rub your blah, 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 blah. See us six hundred bitch, they know that we on top. And blow your clock, 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 clock. I'ma run up on you, smoke you, now they want up on you. We guns, we. I need every female around the world to grab your bestie, your cousin, your sister, your mother, your aunt, even your grandmother. Pull your phones out, let's get on TikTok and work. Shorty in tip-top shape, do it for the TikTok, ayy. You ain't gotta feel no way, do it for the TikTok, TikTok. Booty looking real firm, do it for the TikTok, ayy. You ain't gotta wait your turn, do it for the TikTok, TikTok. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Do it for the tick tock, ayy. Post it on your IG page, but do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Yikes! Shorty look real, real nice. She's still looking like a whole damn wife. Wanna get married right now? Throw rice. I got good pipe. So girl, let me put it in your life. Hit my credit card and go swipe. I swear to God, you can have whatever you like. Say. But on another note, well, here's a bottle with a handy going ride the boat. Loosen up a little bit and let it die throat. Finna have a good time. Tell your nigga adios and your home girl like bestie. Let's go. Let's go. Finna go talking for a real go. Always touch down at the last play. Don't work. Guarantee I'ma hit the field goal. Yes, sir. Shorty in tip top shape. Do it for the tick tock. You ain't gotta feel no way. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Booty looking real firm. Do it for the tick tock. You ain't gotta wait your turn. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock. Do it for the tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Do it for the tick tock. Do it for the tick tock. Post it on your IG page, but do it for the tick tock, tick tock. Don't you ever big bro me, you not my homie We ain't go half on coffee, when it's cold and lonely We don't rock flip flops, cause we hopscotch on cops We got too many ops, tryna mop our block Bop way to the left, cause the money is right Life is a bitch, but the pussy is tight Chitty bang, chitty bang, you ain't game, you can't hang Better let the nuts hang, let it swing, let it swing My third front line, we just nest fresh We ain't put on for the nine Big three on the spine, and I know if I'm tapped, Fettuccine don't care, I just gotta be taxed. Freedom work all that. My mama never cooked much, her lazy ass like Chris. Take us to the free lunch, pot of milk in a box. Funny how we got that with three hots in the car. Shit didn't change much, they had a plan for us. Now they plan fucked up. You knew better, you move better. Better move with us. Okay, no chuck. Let me tell you about my city. You blood, you crippin'. Face it to a bagel Just when you see the money change you But it don't It just change everybody 
view to a different angle. Everybody watches different channels. Titty bang, titty bang. You ain't gang, you can't hang. Better let the nuts hang. Let it swing, let it swing. My noodle loose, you drunk on juice. She smelling like some jam and juice. I turn the push to kind of use. I eat the push, I kind of do that chicken neck, your chicken soup. She blow me like some chicken soup. Shit, she come first and I come too. I guess good sex just come to two. Cause you cartoon like Looney Tune. She let me beat like fruity loop. Like who your boo who rock and blue. I turn them out to a hula hoop. Oh, she blood too, then she could fuck my bloody too Shit, she fuck Crips and she fuck blood I guess she got that purple comb Chitty bang, chitty bang You ain't gay, you can't hang Better let you not hang Let it swing, let it swing Like the flag of Japan. 
My work sacred like Mount Fuji, unruly See I was stressing, learned my lesson, never chased the coochie I'm Fiji sipping, so she call me bougie Don't make trap, but I want my diamonds dancing like they little Uzi I'm still the same flashy rapper with no type of ice Shit was dark before, I can tell you about the afterlife They tapping in, life is way more than a stack of likes Don't grab my mic, kill a rapper just for bragging rights You acting like what I'm doing happened overnight Cobra bite on them, give them chills like the poke the guys supposed to be like, nah, that's not you, cause you're so polite, so delight, right? Last year I was the coldest type. Not taking no advice from niggas who ain't half as nice. I'm dropping pounds after pounds, you can hold the rice. Yikes. Take all that, take all that. I need more veggies. I need other bands in my hand. Shawty, she got ass in the tan, ayy Chill like Kurt, yeah, I'm all up in these bands Don't care about no thought, he wanna hide, he was bad, yeah But I don't wanna take a lot Pull up in a lot with a coupe and a plug I don't give a fuck, she a clock, she get top After that, I let the burning and the dog jacked up Hair a mess up, still sauce in my blood Poppin' on the bean, I got potion in my car I go outside, cause my chest feelin' hot And even on a weekday, I'm with my gang turnin' up No one is ready for one, I'm in a coupe and I rap, yeah Smoke dope in a car, go hot till I jump Dropped up, it's a must, don't stop till I pass this up Hit up on the road, roll up on a dash, yeah I don't care, I am, I live AM Until PM, got a couple of grams That shit drop a counter, close the window Better learn your manners, I need ten more I need ten more, on the lane like a band store I don't dance, ho, pull up on the left, rope fast Ain't no break, got stuck, got my hands for my ups Got me ups, but I never remember down, though I just woke up and went on my way Who you are, who you with, I don't care anyway Sound like how you touch, so get out of my face, little bitch This smell No one is ready for what? I'm in a coupe and I rap, yeah Smoke dope in a car, go hot till I jump Dropped up with some ice, don't stop till I pass this up Hit up on the road, roll up on a dash, shot. Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your girl V Henny. We back in the building and we got your boy Warren Wentz with us rocking out. You already know yo, the yo, vibes. Yo, yo. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm you good. good. I'm chilling. 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 Phenomenal, yeah. yeah. Well, well, before before we start anything, you know, we gotta take that toast. Okay. Toast to the good toast? toast to a good life. You understand? Good life. Good life. What about the great life. Great yo, great life. <laughs> great a lot life. of people saying good. Good might be overcrowded. You feel me? I, I, I tend you're right, yo, and I hate that he's saying all these good you, <laughs> you know, know why? Because I tend to say good is the enemy of great. Ah. So you understand? Yeah. So, I'm banging for the team of good. Yeah, great. yeah, nah, nah, definitely <laughs> to a great life, to man. Life. My sister. Let's do this. Salute. Mm. <sighs> now I wanna say um thank you again for taking the time being here. Thank you for having you me. You know, I know yeah. You got lost a few, no, a few times. Listen, that's Jersey for you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know in Jersey, make the wrong exit move, the wrong turn. It's 10, 15, half hour on your time. Salute. No, nah, that's a fact. That is not. It's a fact. Like, if you don't know where you're going, you're definitely 99% of the time you will get lost. That's a fact. You understand? So, I've been watching your grind, and um, I will say this. Yo, your fucking videos, bro. Your funny videos, them shits be fucking comedy, bro. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I just, you, I had to put it out there because I was watching um the one with the roaches. Oh God, that shit is, but that's a fact though. Like, I just be feeling like roaches got personality, got a heart too. I mean, they scum of the Yo, earth. Yeah, fucking... you brought it to a, a memory when um I remember like living with my aunt and <laughs> yo, I remember like her house was in. I'm not yeah. trying to put it out Shouts there, Tia, you understand? Yeah. But I used to, she had like an infestation of roaches mm. and we would just turn on the light and <laughs> motherfuckers would scatter. Like, Party like, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm. Crazy, nah, crazy. but you know, like just watching your, 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 just your brand, your hustle, you know, those that don't know, he's a hip hop artist, an actor, just an entrepreneur in itself, you know? Mm. When, I know like... You're basically a student to the game, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and 
I just I, I admire it because of your just speaking to you behind um all of this like uh, behind um off air listening to the way you think. Again, we was talking about it. You can seem somewhat like I said, is either you can be an overthinker or chaotic in a sense, but then it's again it's a beautiful thing because not everybody understands the way you think. Mm-hmm. Have growing up, how was that? Like how did everybody take that in? I mean, um <laughs> cuz I feel like I listen, listen watching looking at your bio, I know you say you started off in high school with music. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, like growing up, mm-hmm. how did everybody take that? Um it's so funny because like my my family would tell you that I'm the one that uh <laughs> I got the smart mouth. Or okay. I'm the one that talk back, but I don't want to say that I've always been opinionated. I just believe in myself so much. Okay. You know, I just truly believe in everything that I stand for, everything that I do. And for better or worse, you know, okay. I truly believe that I could think about something in one way, go through it, understand why that might have been a mistake and learn from it and then adapt moving forward. So, and you know, it is why I am who I am. I mean, it's not, <laughs> I, I feel you, but mm-hmm. it, it's easy to say it is what it is, right? Yeah. Like this is life. Mm-hmm. But then again, you know, you have your, when you're part of that 2%, which you are, right? I would believe so. Yeah, I believe you are, yeah. you know. Um, when you're part of that 2%, it's like, it's not it is what it is to the 98 percenters. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. So, when did you realize, when it came to your music, mm-hmm. that, because I, I, I got to listen to your first album. Oh. Yes. Why this cap? Yeah, what you think? Different. Different. Uh, Different. Um, yeah. Not bad, actually. Mm-hmm. Good. Very centric. Mm-hmm. It's Very a vibe. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's when, when I say different, mm-hmm. like, I got to hear your, lyri- your lyrics to it, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I got to hear the st- beat selection. Mm-hmm. Hence the reason why I was just like, this is a vibe. It's centric. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, you know... I, Puerto Rican from the Bronx, boom bap. You understand? Yeah, right. So I was more into like, like that real hood rap, you know. Mm-hmm. But eventually, in time, I got to expand my mind even more to music, and it's you know. So listening to you, like you, you how you implement like just the soul in it, it was just like I, ah, I can see why he stands out. Mm-hmm. You know, what made you want to be different, opposed to your. What is it? In hip hop, we have this, it, it's, it's people not, more back then, it was more criticism when it came to like, you're a hip hop artist and this is the type of hip hop you're supposed to put out. Right. So how did you feel about the type of music you put out knowing that you were stepping out the box? I mean, I just believed in it. You know, I'm, I'm the type of person, I don't really watch I like I pay attention and I'm aware to what's going on, but I'm not really focused on anything other than what I got okay. going on. So if it just so happens that, you know, I'm putting out music in a certain way, certain beats, certain flow, whatever, it just it's in sync to my spirit. Okay. It's bigger than just my mind working and trying to think and Okay. You know, manifest a thought. I mean, I know you believe in yourself, but I'm sure there was moments you had you were like you felt discouragement. I mean, yeah, but 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 I t- I'm one. I'm the type of person. I take negative energy and I turn it into a positive all the time. As you should. If you tell me, you know, um, yo, forget you. I, I understand the third. Yo, f you. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna take that and be like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's why I became an artist. Like no funny. Like when I was when I was in um I was in seventh grade and I got booed at this freestyle competition with me and my boy. You know, um, okay. and um, shout out to my boy Joe. You know, Forza, what's up? Um, he tells me I never shot him out, so I had to shot him out. <laughs> so I thought about it. <laughs> Salute to you, my brother. Salute. But yeah, so after that happened, I was so embarrassed when I got booed. I went home that day. I was like, yo, forget about school. I don't care about school. Forget that. I'm about to just be on some music. And okay. And I'm pretty sure those people don't remember me. They don't remember that day. I do. Okay. So I'm the type of person, I've always been like that as a kid. Just take energy. Any type of negative, just flip it to a positive. So- Pain is your motivate your motivation. You would say, no, nah, it's not even pain. It's no. ignorance. If you if you ask me, if you talking, if you take the time out to talk to, talk about somebody, you don't know. 
Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I find things like that ignorant. You know, I've always thought like that as a kid. Gotcha. So, you know, that's always been something that just kind of kept me away from the pack, too. Just my mindset. Mm. You know? So, wait, you was doing a freestyle and you got booed? Got booed. That was the only time I ever got booed in my life. I promise you. Really? Really. Yeah. It was, it was right into the... um. The, um, we don't give a damn, we don't give a, uh, the yeah, young bloods yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Yo, yeah, it was look. crazy. We was pups too. And I was just talking some ish, whatever. And my, and then Joe, my boy Joe, he was like, um, hey, yo, this guy, I think he real funny. I think he had his shoes about a year or two. And it just choked. It was like, boo. It, it was like real life, eight mile, like for real. You know, so yeah, so, uh, that's what, what do you think? I mean, obviously, you took that, like you said, you you flipped it, which is, yo, I love it, right? I fucking love it because yeah. I, like, for me, like, I know what it is to be the underdog in a sense, right? Yeah. And you flip it and you just become your best. But here's the thing, though. What makes you an underdog? It's people's so, perceptions. It's, That's what it's I'm trying to tell you. That's the type of shit that I'm on. Fuck people. Like, I love people, but fuck people. Like, in the sense of, like, I'm not watching what you do. I don't give a fuck about what you say. Okay. Because when I step in the room, I'm him. Okay. That's it. When you hear me, it's that moment. When you watch me, it's that time. Like, that's how I am. That's how I move. Okay. So if you're insecure when I step around, then you need to go back to the drone board and get the fuck out of my face. I mean, that, <laughs> like, yo, it's easy. That's the type of time that I'm with with love, respectfully so. You feel me? Like, and I sincerely feel, yours. <laughs> I, feel, I feel you on that. Mm-hmm. But, because I'm the same way. Like, in, you know, like, when you're confident in what you believe in, in your brand, and yourself, you tend to intimidate people, which is fine, whatever. Like you said, go back to the drawing boards and, and continue working Listen, on yourself. Listen, V, I said that... But, Bro, that. at the end of the day, and this, and unfortunately, in this three D world, yeah. there are insecurities within other people. They get intimidated mm. by the fact that you're so secure with yourself. But check this though, right? I said this in, a, in, in one of my my songs. Um, it ain't out yet, but it was like I said, my confidence is so confident that you would think I'm cocky. Mm. I'm taking steps like Rocky. So how can anyone stop me? Like, that's. I mean, I get what you. I know what you're saying. I get it. But that's the thing, though. Me knowing that, it allows me to navigate in a way where, like, somebody could say whatever, have an impression on whatever I'm saying or doing. Salute. I ain't going to take the time out to address that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why somebody even like a, like a Drake will say, like, you know what I'm saying? You might, dis, you know, you might nev- never get a diss song out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's real. It when you real. when you achieve that, when you really like spiritually, mentally ascend to a certain place, it starts feeling a little spacious because not a lot of people are on that level, and I understand that. When did you start understanding that? I, I know you say since little, but when did you, but you really you, fully grabbed it in? Where when it came to your yourself spiritually, emotionally, mentally? Because I tell people, I feel like me personally, I get what you're. I know what the fuck you're saying. Mm-hmm. It's an alignment, yeah. you know, and, and and it's a it's a it takes as much as you can believe in yourself. It still takes a lot of work, of course, to put in this work, to to put in this attitude and this persona where you're at now. So when did that realization hit you? I mean, it, I'm gonna say everything probably fully came together within the last year and a half, two years. Okay, you know, um. A lot of things started closing up for me, but a lot of things started opening. You know, I released my project in 2018. Okay. And I got great reviews. Like, I, I felt like I, I stepped up another level okay. with that project. Like, even how I move around in the city, it just feel different, you know? Mm-hmm. But the situation didn't pan out the way I envisioned. Okay. You know? And so, once that happened, during that time frame, I spent the time with myself, really with myself and my family and just really locked in mentally and just just gave myself that time that I don't normally do. Mm. Because you know as creators, right, entrepreneurs, y'all know literally every second you can to put towards your business, you're going to do. Uh, exactly. Aside from sleeping and using the bathroom and eating, that's what you're putting your time towards. You don't got your time for nothing. So for me, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just looking at it like, I. Right, what do I really want? You know, mm-hmm. I had a lot of people trying to stir my pot in my kitchen, mm-hmm. you know, and really get in the way of what I'm trying to come through with. Yeah, okay. So once I had that time, you know, I think it to myself, I did a lot of praying, 
And then I just came to that realization. I just came full circle. Okay. It's like I've always had it in me. The one constant in all these situations is that I've always had me. I've always figured out a way to make a move. I've always figured out a way to get out of a situation. You get what I mean? Mm. In anything in life. Even in my love life. Like, you know, like my love life was like a mess. A lot of my first project is really based off of things that transpired in my love life. Gotcha. I'm okay. now in a place where I'm like, you know, I have somebody I'm with who's like my best friend and, you know, and we just lock in and everything is clear. So things like that happening in, in my life, you know, me being more of a father than ever. Okay. A lot of people don't know that I have a son. He's eight. Shout out to Jalen. I love you, Bob. Um, That's beautiful. You know. That's but dope. so I want to say within like the last year and a half, two years since I dropped that project, all these things have happened, mm. you know, and right now in front of you is the best version of Warren that's ever existed. Yo, doesn't that feel good, though? It feels amazing. That's why I came. You asked me how I'm doing. I sound phenomenal. Nah, I you get like, it. Oh, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> Yo, I get you know? it because like, I mean, and that's the whole purpose to everything, right? Everyone has this, uh, everyone has that story. Not mm. everyone, but like everybody has their own particular story. I find the beauty to that because the way people can fucking overcome that negativity mm -hmm. especially when you learn from it mm -hmm. and then when you know how sometimes you have you have your people you have those there they stick to the negativity because it's what they know right yeah. and then you have people such as yourself who's like nah i want more i'm not staying to i'm not sticking to this toxicity i need to learn but here's the thing though v not to cut you right yeah, bad. here's the thing that's where I came from, though. You know, I'm I'm one of six. Okay. You know, from Miss Marcia Went. You know, and I grew up seeing my mom hold it down. My pops was in my life, but he wasn't in my life. You know, okay. he was in and out of jail, and then he got deported. So all I know is mom, my brothers that we grew up with. Two of my brothers were living in Jamaica. It was myself, my younger brother, and two of my older brothers. Okay. All right. I shared. A mattress with my brother in the dining room with roaches crawling around, flies picking in your cereal. Yeah. You know? Having to share meals with McDonald's, cut the burger in half. He, he got one piece, I got one piece. Like, that's where I came from. So to come from that and then get to a place where, you know, things have elevated. You know, I got my own space. I got my own this, this, and that. It's a blessing. It is. You know, it taught me something. It taught me. It, it taught me humility at a young age. I lost my oldest brother at in two thousand. Mm, I was wild you. young, wild young. Sorry to hear that. Nah, um, it's okay. So you, it's like that's where I come from. So it's like. Nah, you know, I mean, but you, you are um, an example of what it is to break. Um, what is it? Um, uh, generational curse. Yes. Yes. Which I think again, that's why that's why I've been stressing and emphasizing how beauty the beauty of it, right? The mm. beauty of chaos, because it's like for some it might be a negative thing, but people like us, it's I mean for me it's not mm -hmm. because of a person such as yourself, you hear breaking that generational curse, you know, and then you have your son and you're implement you're showing implementing him and you're showing him a different way of living mm -hmm. that you. He's never. I'm, I'm not gonna say he's never experienced, but you're showing him something different at this point, mm -hmm. opposed to how you was raised. Mm -hmm. And then you're implementing it in your music, which you're inspiring other people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's dope, y'all. And I, I, I don't. I think a lot of people don't tend to uh, praise it or like applaud it because we're so at times. You know, we have. They like you said. You they applaud more the popularity opposed to like what's different. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate that, no, you know. Thank you. Thank and you. I look forward to. I know you're working on the, you know, father's favorite. I was just saying. I was just about to segue into that because yeah, no, nah, all I, of I, this I, comes from it. You know, you can understand why I would name, you know, my project that that title after everything. Yeah. You know, feeling like I'm in my best form right now, the chosen one, father's mm. favorite. You know, I come from Elmont, Long Island, the small town. You know, some of the young kids out there they call me legend, out there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And it's such a small town, and it's like what I do inspires people out there. It's yeah. crazy. You know, so all of that, where I come from, and just how I think about life and how I view things, that's why the title is Father's Favorite. Why did it take you close to two, well, pretty much two years 
to just like from your first album to this what like I mean to me it's not a bad timing but for some you know people be like you gotta be consistent right whatever yeah but 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 you know like I was mentioning before you know I've had situations okay. that that kind of steered this whole thing on a different course okay but it's God's plan at the end of the day yeah you know it's God's design we're just playing a role my role is Warren Wint mm. you know at the end of the day. So that's what I'm going to assume, and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. Okay. And I just walk with that swagger. I just walk with that demeanor. Just walk with that energy. Fuck how anybody feel. Yeah. That's just how it is. For me. Yeah. You know? I mean. Learn from it. Love it. Hate it. Respect it. Do you. But I'm tunnel vision on the vision. You know? It's not just me. It's bigger than me. It's my family. It's my community. It's my people. It's my fans. My support. Whatever's connected to me any type of way, and I take that shit very seriously. <laughs> Listen, I, I look forward to this project because I know you said this was like, again, this is your best work. This mm. is something more personal now to you. Yeah. You're personalizing it. Mm. So I know because I, 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 I know what it is to be an artist, to mm. do music. So I know for a fact when you're putting a project together, you tend to usually over record, right? Right. So how did you go about, because I know on Instagram, you, uh, you on social media, should I say, you posted your um, track list. Yeah. So how did you go about picking what tracks made that list? Um, I'm, you know, it's funny. I love how I do music these days because I just feels like, it feels like it's so precise. Okay. Like, very rarely am I going to go record something and not use it immediately or soon or have a plan for it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so... Um, I want to say most of the songs that's on Father's Favorite have been recorded within the past couple months. Okay. Like, I had different versions of this project. That's what usually happens. Gotcha. But I had so much music from times like I have a record on there that's five years old. Mm. But probably wouldn't know. Really? I ain't gonna so say. did you re-record it? Like, because nah, I know your voice tends to change as you, you know, as you mature. So, like... Nah. Nah, I didn't. I didn't no? need to. Nah. Okay. Nah, I didn't need to. I mean, if anything, if if anything happened to my voice, um, when I like rap, okay, I probably got a little more grittier. Okay. But other than that, I mean, my harmonizing since then got way better. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a singer at all, <laughs> but I definitely have gotten better. Um, could I re-record it? Yeah, but. It was so fire then, and it's relevant now, where I'm like, I'm throw it on there. You don't want to lose that energy, in a sense, as well, because, I mean, it's two different vibes, like you said. Nah, I'm nice like that. If I re-recorded it, it would probably been, like, some whole other shit. Okay. But it's valid, though. Like, it's 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 solid, and I, I felt like that then. I felt like it was such a big record, I couldn't put it out back then. It was so ahead for me. That's what I felt like, so. Okay. Yeah. And we're expecting, what, 13 tracks, right? Um, nah, 12, well, let's, let's, right now I'm looking 12 at, 12 with a bonus, I'm, right? Yeah, yeah, 12 and a bonus, right, yeah. I was thinking about 13 and a bonus, but I'm gonna do 12 and a bonus. If you see 13 and a bonus, it's cause I have a skit on there. Mm. There's a skit that I would kinda wanna do, but I may not. What, wait, is it, there's a skit that you want to do? That I What's making you hesitate? Come on. Because, um, <laughs> because this project is so, it's a little more serious for me than the last one, so... I don't want to kind of be jokey on this one. I might, I might bring that vibe to the next project, but okay, yeah, because that's the thing too. Like I'm just setting up for so much material right now. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So I may or may not pull the trigger. When are you planning on releasing this project? November fourth, mm. eleven four. And what are your like? Are you four. planning on doing like a release event or like? Yeah, we talking about it. Me okay. and my team, we talking about it. Um, I may do some intimate, like forty, fifty. People okay. at most, you know, um, shouts to Evo Agency, my brother Scott Morris, our brother Scott yes, Morris. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he, you know, he, or he, we spoke about doing something from like a year ago. So, you know, maybe you got to bring him up here and ask him. <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. get that from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now that's dope. That's mm -hmm. actually dope. I mean, then you, you already know you're gonna see me on this. Of course, um, of course. Showing some love. And, but you knew that already. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 you know, but I mean, I knew that, but not yeah. other people, you well, understand? So, and he will be in the building. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, like, I, I, it's dope, right? When you, when you have, like, when you have a team who's, um, on the same, more or less on the same wavelength as you, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but again, 
I mean, I, 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 I appreciate your confidence, you know, but I'm sure you had to deal with a, a few in the past where you had to, not too many people was on the same pace as you, you know, how mm-hmm. did you overcome certain situations like that? Well, for those that like, you know, cause you, I feel like some people get stuck or they get stuck in the emotion. Mm-hmm. Of like the lost or like how listen the disappointment. That shit is fucked up. When as an artist, as a creator, you allow someone control over your vision. That's like somebody telling you what to do in a way. You feel me? Yeah. Somebody telling somebody what to do, that shit is associated with like work, being like an employee, or even worse, being in jail. Mm. Wake up, eat. Want to go pee? Shower. Recess. Yard. Whatever the fuck. Feel me? So if I'm allowing you to be in my my life in that regard, if 50 Cent said it best, I'm an artist. I'm, I'm sensitive with my shit. Mm-hmm. Fact. I'm sensitive yeah. with my shit. It's my heart. I'm unveiling my soul via music, via content, yeah. whatever the fuck. So I think that shit is fucked up when people do that to people, man. So for me... Once I felt something would be off, okay. I'm planning an exit. Plan, I'm making a back door. Gotcha. Whether it's a couple months, a couple days, a couple weeks, a year or two. Like, when I was younger, it would be longer, and then time got shorter. Like, mm-hmm. I, I see it, next week I'm out. See it, tomorrow I'm lit. You know? So, there's no love loss or whatever. Things happen, you know? People change. You know what I'm saying? It's the inevitable. But that's a part of my story, too. Where yeah. I can say I survived that shit. You know, I've been in situations where I had people end up having me tied in with the FBI, IRS. Mm. I had situations where people got shot, um, people got shot up and shit like that. Maybe not the people, but like property. I got into situations where motherfuckers owe people and this, this, that, and the third. And I don't knock nobody for how you live your life, do you? But don't bring me into that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a whole father. I'm a whole father. And I feel like any type of threat or or, or or misguided safety on my life on, on, or handle on my life is a problem for my son and then that bounces back for it being a problem on me so I can't be around that type of shit gotcha. so I'd feel it and I'd be like alright play play cool and get the fuck up out of there yeah that's it yo I'm intrigued How, how what's, how's your writing um, like when it comes to writing your music like yeah. what, how's your pen like which like as far like my like, shit like, fire nah, for nah, me. Nah, nah, nah. What I nah. meant to say, <laughs> you're, 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 like basically when you're conducting a, a song in itself or like a verse or whatever. Like my process. Like your process. Okay. Of, yeah, your writing process. I got stuck right there. Yeah, you go, you go. But what's your? How's your writing process? Because I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Like, are you, you just execute right away, or is there like a different type of process you do? So, um, for the most part. I would say I like to listen to the beat. I probably spend the most time just listening. Okay. So it's like I'm like, you know, trying to push up on push up on the shorty or something, push up on the drum. Like it's like I feel like I'm getting to know somebody. Mm. That's how I treat a, a record. So I'm listening to the beat, whether I'm driving, whether I'm smack, whether I'm, you know, in the yeah, shower, yeah, in yeah. all different situations. And then once I'm like getting ready to like record, that's when I just turn it on and write. Mm. I used to write songs and have them stocked up. Okay. But I stopped doing that. Gotcha. You know? So when it's like go time, like I know I have a session coming up, that's when I unload and dump. I wanna see you perform. How's your energy? <sighs> I mean, it's definitely. Do you, pr- do you practice though? Like beforehand? Like, or like, or do you just go off a crowd? Nah, I definitely go off the crowd. Okay. Definitely go off the crowd. Um, I used to practice, you know, but now I'm at a point where, like, if anything, I'm training. So if I have a show coming up, I probably might, like, make sure I'm emphasizing my exercise routines okay. and shit like that. But, um, yeah, nah, I would go off the crowd. Because I could be in a spot and it could be, like, 10 people. But the ten people could be lit. I can go in another spot. It'd be ten people, the same ten people, but the energy ain't there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So now I'm thinking about the fact. Fuck, there's ten people here. But if it's ten and the energy's lit, oh, y'all were lit. Fuck, fuck. If it was just y'all ten, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Us eleven, whatever. So yeah, 
Now I want to see that because I'm like, your, your your energy in itself is is fucking is right there, kid. So I'm like, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot because it's like when I'm interviewing, I don't. It's so funny. I'm not like goofy and shit. I can be goofy, but I just be chilling because a lot of times I be fried. Like so, people, you know, anybody that know, they probably could tell that. Like, oh, he look fried, but like, yeah, I be fried, but chilling. But when I'm performing, it's a whole different thing. I feel like. Yo. Do you do you drink or smoke before you perform? Or? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I have, but I don't think about it like, yo, I need a drink before. That could just oh, some people like that. Nah, fuck no. Hell no. That shit don't help at all. <laughs> do not smoke or drink or do any type of drugs before a fucking show. You crazy? Yo, have but, you ever done that and you fumbled or caught you, you ever fucked yo, up? Yo, listen, listen. <laughs> My biggest thing, I remember one time I was smoking this shit. Got wild, frosty. I was going on an interview. I did an interview. Shea 45 with... um. My man CeeLo, shouts to CeeLo, heavy hitters. And I was rhyming, and I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but I had so much bars in the shit, it didn't matter. It's just, you know, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Like I picked it up, like I think like four or six lines in, I was like, <laughs> And then after I was done, I was like, yeah, I had the crazy dry mouth. Like, I was just smoking. <laughs> like, nobody give a fuck, Warren. Like, but, you know, whatever. I had to yeah. try and make it nice. As long, as long as it's not, who was it? Um, What is it? Melly? Melly, when he did that freestyle on um, shit, um, what's his fucking face? I forgot. It was on, on Shade 45, but um, he's on um, Meek Mill's artist, yo. And he did a freestyle. <laughs> Listen here. I was like, nah, crazy. I was yo crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to fumble here and there, you, you know. But I was just like, nah. nah. Like the most, and most if I ever fumble, it'll be like, <laughs> well, I say like a different word. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But it's still on point. It's so crazy. It's still on point. So it's like, well. So now going back to your project, yeah. um, you know, the twelve with the bonus, mm-hmm. um. For each song, how long would you say? What? How long was the process? How long did it take you to actually complete this project? Um, no cap. This the project was done coming into the year. Okay. It was done. It's just that um, I made revisions along the way. Okay. COVID happened, kind of like pushed it back. Um, because I had the project set up a different way. Okay. But then COVID came and. Black Lives Matters and All yeah. Lives Matters and Everybody's Lives Matters. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it happened. So it was Yo, like... No, I need a, I need a drink. Yeah, you can give me an, was funny. You can give me another one. Um, <laughs> but that happened. So I was like, all right, you know, maybe I shouldn't have no club type records on there. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have this type of song on there, you know. So then I ended up crafting maybe like four four or five more records. Okay. And, um, I, you know, actually I, I had the the... The dope opportunity, or you know, honor better yet, because that's my man. Um, the link up with um, Sha Money XL, okay. and he actually gave me a folder, so he actually got like two on the project. I was mm. like, Yo, this fire. So, you know, so I changed it up, dressed it up nice, and I was like, I right, put it out in November. Okay. Yeah, and then what I'm planning on doing is I'm just gonna be visually active. Okay. So, probably they'll probably you'll probably see like two more videos. Out before then. Okay. And then it's going to be videos till the new year. And then I'll start introducing my next project. How was the pandemic? How did it treat you? It treated me lovely. Okay. <laughs> it treated me lovely. Like, I ain't going to lie, you know. um, I think I, 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 I found my way in it. Okay. I feel like the pandemic put everybody in their own zone automatically. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Even if... Using a relationship or not, you know, it puts you in your zone, doly. Yeah. You had your own trail. For me, I just paid attention to everything that was going on. I stayed out the way. You know, I didn't do too much. I used the time to spend with family. Okay. I used the time to, like, just kind of regenerate, um, rejuvenate, um, replenish. Okay. You know, and just be on it. So. No, I, I, I agree with you. It's funny, right, how... Well, not funny. It's ironic and yeah, funny at the same time, right, where, um, yo, COVID... I tell people, I'm like, yo, COVID was literally, like... It was just the upbringing for creatives. Absolutely. I'm like, you know, aside from, you know, I know many people, you know, like, there was a lot of downside to it, but for the creatives, like, this shit just was booming, kid. Yeah. Like, it was 80s in New York, you understand? Listen, like- listen, listen. I was, listen, I'm here with you. At the end of the day, 
I made my way in COVID. You made your way in COVID. COVID gonna be here with us till the summer, apparently. So, salute. The only thing that was crazy was just this is really unfortunate to kind of see um, how common people were passing. It was just you know mm-hmm. I even said that in the song. I said um, nowadays the norm is to die. You can't even mourn. Like mm. you hear somebody die these days, it's just like damn. Like it's damn. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. Damn. Like you know you should. Nah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's definitely a fact. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's your... I, we already know, like, every time you do a song, that's your baby, right? But I want to know which song really stood out for you. On this project? Yes. Ooh, um, Am I allowed to give you two answers? Go ahead. You're allowed to do whatever you please, All right, sir. all right, all right. So, there's a record on there. Shout out to my sister, V-Notes. My brother's L4L. We got a record called WWBD. Okay. Or, for short, um, I mean, for, what it stands for is, what would Beyonce do? Mm, I was wondering what the hell that that meant. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to really, like, write what would Beyonce do. I felt like the title was too long. Plus, I don't want nobody feeling like I'm using Beyonce's name to try and get any type of attention. Gotcha. But I just thought about the record because I felt like, for women... You know, Beyonce's like Jesus. Like, so it's like, She's you know, like I even, somebody even told me, dead ass, they told me, it was like, yo, that's so funny. When I'm performing and certain things happen, I ask myself, what would Beyonce do? You know, and this is a guy that actually told me, that's one of my boys. Okay. So that just goes to show you the power that's of her. Crazy. So I think that might, that for me, I'm banking on that being the standout. Okay. Um, I also have a record called um, Just You Wait with my brother Bryce of Aura. And um, that's the Shy Money, one of the Shy Money records that we got. Okay. And I just think it's so dope because it's like, um, that's probably my more, my most heartfelt record on there. Okay. You know, um, and what I came up with, it made me think about the last time I was like locked up for some stupid stuff, mm. some dumb shit, suspended license. If you have tickets out there, pay your tickets. <laughs> No, let me stop. I'm just saying, pay your tickets and don't drive. That shit corny. So it made me think about the time, the last time I was in there, and just kind of reflected on that and touch base. Mm. And it's it's heartwarming, you know? So, yeah. So I would say those two records. So, wait. I I want to listen to that one. But I also want to know, wait, writing this whole what would Beyonce do? Yeah. How was the fucking process? To, like, like did you, like, because I'm like, damn, I feel like that's a question. And mm-hmm. then it's like, you got to just. So, boom, check it. Think about this. I'm going to tell you how it came out, right? So, <laughs> so V, my sister, she, uh, V notes. So, you, you, my other V, right? Um, Y'all got to meet. Y'all would be cool. But anyway, so, she said, you know, she, I was like, you know, doing some shopping with her. I said, yo, boom, boom, boom. I heard the beat. And I had the, um. Whose world is this? Had that uh-huh, sample. Uh-huh. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it was so crazy. And then the beat, the drum, she's just Ooh, nasty okay. with it. So I was like, yo, sis, I need you to take the drums away. Okay. I need to really, like, serenade with this. Mm. And then all I heard was the dun, 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 dun. And it just spoke to me. When I come in, I'm like... You would have never cheated. Mm. Go and make a whole album for the world to repeat it. That's what she did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just and just you know what I'm saying? And I was at I, I think I said I, I was like some some having fun. You told my ninety nine problems for you not to be one. Mm. I was caught in your style. Mm-hmm. Girl, you haven't said you know how you destiny's child. A soul survivor. It felt like deja vu. We was going through some issues who don't <laughs> never do. They tell us work it out. Use out your mouth. I'm out on the couch. You made some lemonade for me and got the dirt off my shoulders. Ooh, okay. So the shopping is, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. So you see where I'm going with it. Yeah. So I think it was just dope. Nah, sample. I'm talking about like as if I'm in a relationship, but it kind of feel like I'm hove in a way and I'm talking like what would Beyonce do? Like okay. I'm talking to my girl, like reflecting off them. Okay. Hence certain references to his songs, her songs, certain lines he said. Mm. So Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Fire. That's dope. Fire. What song what what song you would say that took you out of your box was different for you to do? <sighs> oh, um hmm. I wanna say 
probably Genie. Got this record called Genie. Again, produced by V Notes. Um, the beat is just. Mm, okay. It's just. You know, like, 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 like I'm like on a Molly type shit. Yo, like. yeah, it feel like that. Like, like, shit. So it's like, like, I'm like, I'm gonna just text you. I ain't gonna stress you if you wanna call me. Maybe so. Got we could be, got fa- you. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, da 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 da. You know what I mean? So yeah. So I think that one probably took me, if anything, the closest to out of my box. Everything is, I am out the box. So I am. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. out the box was a person, but, um. That's probably that, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You know Nah, that's a fucking... That's what I'm saying. Like, it's dope that the fact that you are... You're open. You you know, I tell people this. This, I find it uncomfortable to be comfortable, if that makes sense. Right. And I... You know how you just said being out the box was a person? Mm-hmm. Like... I am that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like I'm that type of way too, where it's like I get uncomfortable when I find myself too comfortable in a sense. Mm. You know, like I, I I grew up where it's like you can never get too comfortable in life because mm. shit happens. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that's when you know, like the disappointment, expectations, ex, et cetera, right? Mm. But I love, I, you know, I I love when I'm I, I I have somebody here and you can tell. They have like some, you know, like I said, like that whole ways of the, the way you think, you know, and it's like, I I, I appreciate you, I appreciate you, mm-hmm. I I look forward to your success because uh, you, you at the end of the day, Warren, you you you're succeeding in many ways, yo, you are. But see, that's crazy. When you say that, it me it means a lot to me, and I appreciate it. But then I'm in my head like, nah, nigga, like yeah, you know I mean, like I get pick that. it up, you know, like you know, for better lack of words, like nah, homie, like pick it up. Like, you got more to do, you know? Father Favorite about to be out. I'm about to drop a whole nother project after that. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I, that's probably going to be done before the year's over. And then when I'm in the top of the year, I'm going to be working on another project. Like, I'm just trying to be on some, you know? I have people that tell me, yo, you could bring this New York shit back for real, for real. And I'm like, I feel it too. So What's your overall goal, though? My overall I mean, goal. I get you. I know you're an artist. I know mm-hmm. you, you know, like... But what's your overall goal? Like, do you want like, like Drake stardom? Do I want Warren want... Went stardom. I mean, I know what. Yeah. Nah, 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 no, no, no. Let's let's. Let, that's the narrative. Okay. So what's that's what's... the narrative? Because the thing about it is, we do that, right? Yeah, man. Da da da. Yeah, man. Da da da. But it's like, I mean, that's just for me to know. If I salute somebody, that's for me to know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm so focused. I want Warren Went stardom. That's... So what's Warren Went stardom? Just making sure the family good. Okay. Like how 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 amazing is that that your life can be so impactful that generations ahead are good. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. That's all I care about. Okay. You know, I, I am an artist, but I'm I, I'm not just a rapper. I'm an artist. I'm not just an artist, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I, I, I do a lot. I'm multifaceted. I'm trying to hone on everything. Yeah. This is what God gave me. So this is what I'm going to receive and retrieve. That's the type of time that I'm on. A lot of times, it comes off as uncanny and bizarre to other people because they're just not on that type of time. They're complacent. Mm-hmm. They're chilling. They're cool with the X amount of dollars per month because they got to spend X amount of dollars per month. They're able to save X amount of dollars per month yeah, and just yeah, stack yeah. it. Fuck it, right? And then when you feel bad, you just throw your whole check on a good night because you're trying to get away. I don't move like that. I'm just on some whole other type of time. Do you read like a lot of books or like uh, are you a reader, audio person? I mean, I'm more of an audio person. Okay, but what, what, what like, when was the last time you you've listened to like a, a book? It's been some time. It's okay. been some time. I, 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 if anything, will like watch like documentaries and okay. things like that. Okay. Um, I'm always on Google and just kind of like looking up news and stuff like that. And it's crazy because, like, I'll use my eyes and I'll just interpret things like that. Okay. And it'll kind of sometimes resonate in my subconscious. Like, it'll be, like, there. I may not be actively aware on certain things because I'm not focused or honing in on that. But, you know, I do my fair share of that. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time you did something for the first time? <laughs> Yo, no cap. I think, like, last week. That was last week, babe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last week. She knows what's up. Yeah, that was last week. 
What? Should I ask? Like? Nah, definitely. And I won't even answer, even if you did ask. I love you, yeah. V. Maybe, 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 you know, on the two-year anniversary of Father's Favorite, I'll tell you. Yo, yo, Warren, I want to just say thank you for even pulling up. So y'all already know the vibes, man. It's your girl V Henny. We got Warren when he's about to perform, do his shit, yo. Yeah. And y'all already know, comment, like, subscribe, drop all that shit. Flood it up. I mean... You never find what you're looking for. But when you let it happen. I mean, uh, like it or not, I was on the bus stop, now I'm pushing the drop. Yeah, I seen it a lot. The devil working hard for a young nigga to stop. And that's word to my pops. I refuse to get shot by one of you cops. Let's go. The artistry, what? I see you. Uh, let's go. Yeah. I was born with a disadvantage. So I was told they tried to brainwash you and keep you damaged. I brush that dirt off my shoulders and move how far the planet. The Lord's blessings kept me out of dodging off them scanners. Always in the foreign floor and screaming, fuck the law. Haters like all these niggas, just fuck them all. Prayers to the Lord help me bury thoughts. When I was stuck up in a cell, I was never bored. Do the math. I was always looking for a problem to solve. They ain't want me in, now I'm getting involved I'm thinking plans of domination on the road to success If my tire caught a flat, I was walking the rest And every time I seen them lights, be thinking the rest I was told we were less, but yet we treated like threat But I'm taking all shots, if they giving out texts It's me, like it or not I was on the bus stop, now I'm pushing the truck Yeah, I seen it a lot The devil working hard for a young nigga to stop And that's word to my pops I refuse to get shot by one of you cops uh. Damn, pray for me, I need it a lot If a cop can get away with murder It would be best advised to keep you a burner Turn that beef to burger Some of you niggas deserve to feel the Leader of what I shield, but I still ain't kept I wish I could take it back So when the real is real, the fake is fake We made no mistakes, but in this day and age They'd rather you sleep at a wake Nah, I ain't woke, I been awake to make my own decisions, I swear I couldn't wait Every other year, one of my partners is upstate Early morning updates, heard he pushing updates Now we got a president that be fucking up states Nowadays they think it's cool that you sign where you state But that star on your badge couldn't make my space And we don't gotta be cool, but you can get your top eight Bah! Like it or not, I was on the bus stop, now I'm pushing the truck Yeah, I seen it a lot The devil working hard for a young nigga to stop and that's word to my pops. I refuse to get shot by one of you cops. Damn. Pray for me, I need it a lot. Like it or not, I was on the bus stop, now I'm pushing the drop. Yeah, I seen it a lot. The devil working hard for a young nigga to stop. And that's word to my pops. I refuse to get shot by one of you cops. Vibe with me now. Damn. Pray for me, I needed a lot. The, the, the artistry catches on YouTube, Facebook, or outlets. Follow us, the artistry and why.